and welcome to Scottish Field Videos. I'm here with Wendy Barry today from the Scottish Food Guide on the Fife Coastal Path. So what we're going to be making today, we're going to make a lovely starter to begin with, with a Scottish sea trout and some lovely crowdy and a beautiful dressing. It would make a great sharing platter over the festive period. Uh, great with a glass of bubbly. Oh great, I can't wait to try it. Good. some sea trout from Belhaven over in Dunbar and we're going to compile a lovely dish, no cooking involved in this, dead easy and it's beautiful smoked trout, this is cold smoked and we're going to just halve them so that they kind of drape on the plate beautifully because they, they are so delicious and people can just share, it can be with a, a canopy, with oat cakes, with some sourdough and you can just pick and mix what you like but it's really delicious and the colour is so vibrant. So they also do um, hot smoked, so that flakes more, but you won't get the same drape, but it's also delicious. Um, or you can have a smoked mackerel would work beautifully with this as well. So I'll add another one to the plate here. And then we're going to serve it with some of Anne Dorward's crowdy. Now she makes a wonderful crowdy from her Ayrshire herd of cows. And she's uh, on the Ark of Taste actually, Slow Food Ark of Taste. And she has her crowdy here, which has been rolled in a lot of oatmeal and a little bit of black pepper just to give it a lovely season. And this is a very old form of cheese. So in Scotland, they could have had smoked sea trout and crowdy centuries ago, and yet now it's a bit of a gastronomy. So I'm going to put some little nuggets of this in amongst it. It's a creamy, fresh cheese, really delicious. It has a short shelf life. But actually, you can freeze it. People don't really know that you can freeze cheeses, but if it's a good cheese, you can actually freeze it and get organised in advance. And this is just perfect for sharing around the table. A little bit of lemon just to finish it off. And I've made some dressing here. And the dressing is with rapeseed oil, lovely Scottish rapeseed oil. Put that there, so you can have a little squeeze. And in with the rapeseed oil, I've got some salt and pepper, a little bit of honey, Scottish honey, and a little bit of Orkney vinegar, which is made from beer barley. So we're going to finish the dish with a little drizzle of this dressing. And of course you can pile it up and really tuck in. Or do individual plates for a special serving. Ready to go. 